hi i welcome all of you in my channel and in this video this video is based upon the correlation testing and the data has been collected from the mining industries the data is also related to the occupational safety and health osha let's start this video the presence of the particulate matter at different site they affect the health of the people or the working workers working there the size of the particulate matter it differs between 10 to 2.5 micro, microns and this size and the particle of this size they remain in air for minutes to hours however the particulate size that is less than 2.5 micron it remain in air for hours to week and these small particles during the breathing inhalation process they dig down into deeper regions of the lung and they cause very serious problem just like cancer so in this video it is attempted to find the relationship between the pm particulate matter size and the implied health the implied health has been measured in form of sick leaves that more implies will have the health of the implies affected so they will get more sick leaves the data has been collected from 103 job sites this is the data set you can see in the column L we have micron the particulate matter sizes in the microns whereas in the column we have mean annual sick leaves or sick days per implied that has been calculated or observed from the sick leave data. So let's start with the formulation of the hypothesis first. So the null hypothesis of the correlation testing will be H0 there is no statistically significant relationship between the particulate particulate size in microns and mean annual sick leaves days in days per imply and the alternate hypothesis will be there is a statistically significant relationship between microns and mean annual sick days per imply so the correlation test has been performed using microsoft excel tool pack and mini tab at a significance level of 0.05 Further, the results are shown in the following tables. Let's start with testing in Excel and Minitab. So we have this data in the Excel. In order to perform the analysis, we, I will click on Data tab. Then on the left hand side, I will click on the Data Analysis tab. A new window will be opened. In that window, I will select the correlation. So I will have to select, uh, search for the correlation first. We have there yes this is correlation okay click ok a new window will be opened just you will have to select the input range so i will select the input range containing the title then press shift control and down arrow so the whole data will be selected in only one click press enter the whole data will come out there and then you will have to say that the data has been grouped by the columns means in L column there is one type of data and the second variable data is in column M and we will say that the labels are in the first row of the data so and now we will select the output range the output range will be selected by here this arrow and in, the, in this sheet the cell which I select we will get the result in that cell so I say that okay the results are here are fine click enter and then just press ok we will get the results of this data so now we will have to interpret it before going towards the interpretation i will perform the same analysis in the mini tab so just click on stat then click on basic statistics come down and click on correlation in the correlation a window will be opened you will have to select the both of these variable column c1 c2 click on this select both variable will be selected and then you will have to click on the option so if the data is based upon ordinal scale just like likert scale you will have to do spearman correlation and while our data is observed data so we have to do the pearson correlation and the confidence level we have taken as 95 percent okay then go to graphs okay we will need a matrix plot and we need uh, the p values and the correlation on our graph click ok and then click ok final we will get our results so we got our result in this form 
we can see that the same uh, same result has been obtained that the correlation between uh, the both variable microns and the mean annual sick leave days per employee is found to be minus 7.16 let me show you that how you can make this graph quite attractive click on the double click on the graph then click on this add item after add item click on the regression fit on the regression fit you will have already selected linear just click ok you will get a line linear line that shows the direction of the correlation click ok so this is a very good way to get a attractive graph that will show the visualizations of the correlation values one thing that i strongly recommended you people is to always perform the regression analysis using the same data tab this regression analysis will strongly help you people to explain that how much variation has been explained by the independent variable on the dependent variable so you will have to select here the regression analysis let me check out yes here is the regression analysis so my output range is mean annual sick leave again i have click on the first cell then click on shift control and down arrow you click the whole select the whole column then select the input range that is represented by x so column l click on the first cell click on shift control and down arrow you again selected the whole column so click on this label that the labels are in the first cell then output range i need the output range uh, be beneath the, this uh, beneath this correlation press enter and then only click ok so based upon this i am interested in the regression results only in one thing r scale r scale means that 51.26 percent variation has been explained by the microns in the mean annual sick leave me it means that a lot of the factor that has uh, depend uh, a lot of the factor explains the variation in the mean annual sick leaves and out of all those factors on the micron only explains 51.26 and that's a very high percentage that this single factor is explaining 51.26 percent variation in the dependent variable now we come towards the report the pearson correlation coefficient r is equal to 0 0.7159 and indicates a very high strong negative correlation so strong means that this correlation is greater than uh, is having a value of 0 0.71 so this numerical value shows a strong and negative this negative sign shows a negative correlation between microns and mean annual sick days per imply this equates to r square value of 0 0.512 that have this value has been explained using the regression analysis we got this value from there and it explained 51.2 percent of the variation between the micron and the mean annual sick days per imply using alpha value of 0 0.05 we got a p value associated that is 0 0.000 that is less than 0 0.05 you can see we got this value in the uh, mini tab p is equal to 0 0.00 this is the value that has been displayed on the matrix plot scatter plot therefore the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternate hypothesis is accepted and we found that there is a statistically significant relationship between the microns and the mean annual sick leaves per imply finding so we found a negative relationship and a significant relationship it means that the presence of these microns they significantly affect the health of imply and the implies are at great risk for lung diseases and deleterious health so from the data we have we got information that 15 job sites have very small particulate matter presence and we should target these sites on more uh, most urgent basis to apply the safety measures further we have to comply with the policies of osha occupational health and safety administration and should recruit a recruit health and safety officer to monitor the compliance with these policies further it is recommended to the mining company leadership to fit the smokestacks in their industries as well as in their sites with the electrostatic precipitators fiber filters inertial and scrubbers meshes and separators the coal should be replaced by oil or gas to minimize smoke in industries 
use of modern technologies to eliminate the pollutants at the production source, selection of non-toxic material for goods manufacturing, and the industries should be switched to clean and renewable energy sources in order to get a sustainable environment. If you have any question, you can ask those questions in the comments. Same, you can also email me your data and I can help you in the data analysis. You can WhatsApp me. Please hit like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Bye.